up in this bitch a bunch of killers and humble trappers. I can go to Hollywood to call in this jungle wagon when niggas that are smoking. So let me see. Running. This is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. How do you pronounce this dude's name? Z A U R. Here we go. I covered this fight. I covered this fight when Hank Lundy fought this guy right here. Hold on, we're gonna show you some clips. Oh shit. So Devin Haney is fighting Zaire Abduliev to be the mandatory for the winner of Vasil Lomachenko WBA Super World and WBO 135 pound champion who faces Luke Campbell at the, at the uh, end of August end of this month so let's figure out what the hell we doing I covered this card. I literally sat and watched this card like six hours or some shit on um, a channel called uh, Fight Space. Live stream. So let's watch a little bit. You know, just give you a little bit of taste. A little bit of a taste of who he is as a fighter. And he's pretty fundamentally sound, but he ain't never been in the waters. Let's see. Ланди пока взял такую паузу, смотрит, что умеет делать за ум. Вот можно вспомнить, кстати, бой против Дулорна, да, для Ланди. Он проиграл просто в чистую первую половину боя, но во второй, как начал взрываться, начал агрессивно вести поединок, и в Дулорме реальные проблемы были. Тем временем у нас два раунда позади, смотрите, какие люди, человек шляпит. That's style, that's speed. That's style. You know, what Devin Henney gonna do about that style, that speed? <laughs> well, here's the thing. This is, um, it's somewhat of an unofficial tournament going on. And top rank in the zone seem to have this type of thing going on where, um, they've been putting their fighters against each other to try to, you know, like, as like uh like like bets i guess if that makes sense you know could maurice hooker beat alex salcedo which he did over on esp and could jose ramirez come over to the zone and beat maurice hooker which he did and now it looks like loma and um if he beats luke campbell of course i have a high amount of respect for luke campbell as a fighter by the way you know he doesn't get enough credit especially when you go look at if it wasn't for that knockdown, you know, what would have happened with that Jorge Lonares fight? I mean, I don't know, you know. I don't know. Devin Haney, you know, is the overall better fighter, you know, from... Now, now remember, I'm no casual. I watch all these fights. I told you I covered this card. I've been watching this guy for quite some time now. And he can't be underestimated. But at the same time, you know, let's go watch some more footage. That's still early, though. That's still early. Overall, though, if you look at the fact that right now, the zone launched for boxing October the 6th, right? With that uh, Jesse Vargas Delorme card. Was that their first card? American. I'm not talking about when they launched with Joshua Pavekin, which was like September the 21st. Their first stateside card so far, I mean, their, 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 their stateside cards so far have been getting better. And when you look at now, depending on how you look at this fight in regards to if you're hardcore or not, right? It's two undefeated fighters. I don't remember how I scored this fight. I know for sure that I had Hank Lindy losing, but I don't remember if this was a close fight or not. 
you're probably looking at that right there, probably like, yo, he going uh, uh, to get knocked out, right? How is the zone destroying boxing? Oh, I'm not even going to comment on you. I am going to read some of the comments, though. Give me a minute um, to get my thoughts together. And plus, I'm trying to condition my body to um, be up this late on, like, weekdays. It's rare. Honestly, it may not, you know, look like it. But I be I don't be up this late on um, weekdays unless it's, like, a Friday or, like, of course, a Saturday. Yes, punch is wide. He's going to get caught. He going to get caught. That shit right there was sharp. That shit right there was sharp. Let's see. Let me pull up his box wreck real quick. Pull up his box wreck real quick. Let's go take a gander. Let's go take a look. 11 and over 7 KOs. Yo, who do he look like? He looked like somebody. From like a from pop culture somewhere. Twenty five years old Russian. He got a YouTube channel that's on box rack. Oh shit, let's go. Wait, what's this, bro? What you got over here? Hmm. You got some prime footage. What you got here? The fuck is this? This ain't his YouTube channel. Damn it. Damn it. Let's see. Uh, this is his first fight outside of Russia. Remember, this is taking place September the 13th. It's a Friday in New York. That next day in Vegas, Tyson Fury is taking on Otto Wallen. Can y'all see this clearly? Is it like blurry? Can y'all see this clearly? Do I have to zoom in? Well, anyway. Uh, you know, he's been ranked very high by the WBC for quite some time, too. Let's go see. Let's go see some more footage. Let's go see some more footage, my man. Let's go see some footage. Where we at? Did you knock this guy out? Oh, what site is this? Oh, it's YouTube. Let's see some footage. All right, give us some, give us some footage. Very good question. I was going to look at that next. His amateur background. Because usually when somebody's ranked that high and they have, you know, as you can see, you know, only 11 pro fights, their amateur background. And I think I remember when I was covering that um, Hank Lundy card. I don't remember if I was watching that with American commentary. Or if I was watching that right there, like that stream. But let's see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this, guys. You think he's going to be a feast? You think he's going to be... Oh, wait. Did this guy get knocked out? You think he's going to be a sacred meal for Devin Haney? Let's see. Oh, shit. How did you get knocked down, man? I'm looking, I'm watching, I'm watching. Oh, 
He gonna work that ass? Let's find us a replay. Can we get one? I don't know. Is the jury out? Y'all think Devin Haney going to beat him up? Be honest. Y'all think Devin Haney... <laughs> if Haney loses, he finished. Be honest. Y'all think Evan... Okay, just, just this little bit. Just this... Just off this... Off this little bit of footage. Off this... Off this... Little, he ain't no bum. Off this little bit of footage. Off, off this little bit of tapes. You know what? He probably let's go see. Let's go find some amateur footage. I want some of that footage. Yeah, let's go find some of that amateur footage. I want some of that. Cause he the type of fighter that he probably beat Billy Joe Saunders in the amateurs. That's how it be, man. When you hear shit like Omar Figueroa beat Errol Spence, I'll never forget hearing that shit and how Sean Porter beat Alexander Usyk. Weird. <laughs> and the amateurs. Let's go find some. Let's go find his shit. Where your shit at? Let's go find some of that amateur shit. Let's see, where's your Wikipedia? Huh? You get where's your Wikipedia? Let's go do some deep diving. This is the type of shit I be doing on a late night, man. The fuck is this? Yuki. Man, where you know, where's your shit, bro? Oh, that's somebody else. My bad. Looked up the whole wrong person. Alright, there you go. So let's see. Let's find his shit. This dude's a ghost. He don't got nothing. <laughs> Dude don't got nothing. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're gonna we're gonna find some footage. Not I mean not footage. We're gonna find his past. Let's see. Where's the shit? Damn. All right. Let's go here. Let's just click these shits. We're going to find something about him. Here's his real name. This whatever. Anybody know how to pronounce this? Can we just Google this? Whoa. Whoa. I don't know if I should be clicking these. I'm not going to click those. No way. <laughs> no. Who is this promoter? German Titoff? Whoa. Who are these people? Yeah, so uh, I guess it's time to move on to the next fight on the card. I guess it's time to move on to the next fight on the card. Is there a fight where he's ever been hurt, though? 
Let's try to find one. Just got them tabs open. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are y'all seeing this? So is this, is this, this is his amateur record? What is this? Did, he has a sub record? Okay, look. So when you click right here, amateur, I guess. Guess this is what this is? And then this is what? He's got losses here too? What is this? Oh, so I'm guessing he was in one of those um, them tournaments, like in between amateur and pro. Is this what this is? Yeah, man, I'm not messing with those Russians, man. I don't want no no problems, man. <laughs> I don't want those problems in my life. So back in 26, back between 2015 and 2016, according to BoxRec, he lost three fights sub, sub straight somewhere. Split. This is weird. Man, as a pro, he's undefeated. Devin Haney is finished. He gonna lay them hands upon Devin Haney. Yes, his motherfucker. So wait a minute. So wait a minute, can we do this for all boxers? Go look at all they shit like this. How come I use box rec in all of my videos? They should be sponsoring me soon, by the way. How come I use them in all of my videos? And I never thought to click this other shit up at the top. I think so. You know how Loma was in that um that that tournament, you know, in between like amateur and pro, this probably was that shit. So I guess he lost in that shit three straight times. In September of 2015, he lost a split decision. I'm not even going to try to pronounce any of these names. I'm sorry, bros. Uh, in March of 2016, he lost another split decision. And then in August of 2016, he lost a split decision. Then he turned pro in May of 2017, and he's undefeated in the pros. He's undefeated in the pros. Well, I'm glad we got a chance to look at this. We found you out. He tried to hide. You tried to hide your record, Abu Duliev. We found you out, bro. Look, look, look. That's his pro record. But then, bam. Look, we found you out. Man, you better get out of here, Abu Duliev. You see, he tried to trick us. He tried to trick us. I don't know. I don't like the looks of this guy. Something don't sit right. I'm not even going to talk about him. Shit seems pretty dodgy. You know, but hey, you know. Whatever, man. Yeah, we got to go check this out, too. What do you see right here? What do you see right here? So I guess we need to get on learning how to pronounce this fella's name, right? So he must be good, too, because he's 6-0 and and he's getting a shot at two belts. So let's go see right now where he's ranked. How much you want to bet that he's ranked high by the WBA with their shit show? Let's see. Look, 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 look. And remember, oh, no. Brandon Figueroa. He fighting for the WBA interim at the end of this month, and I'm and I'm I'm afraid because I gotta cover that fight, and then he got a PBC face to face coming up, and let me tell you, I know it's gonna be hilarious, but I'm not really looking forward to covering it, man. Some body, man. I don't, you know. Look, no disrespect, you know. I'm sure he's a good kid, you know, but this don't some ain't 
None of some don't sit like this ain't right. This ain't creepy. I don't know, man. But yeah. So let's go check out this brother right here. Let's go check out Muru. Shit. I would love to hear Deontay Wilder pronounce his name. Muru. Hey. Should I get... Well, I can say his last name. Akhmadaliev. But Muru Jean? Kind of like Borjan Dinu? Let's go check out some tape. Let's go check out some tape. Some footage. Oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait. Which one is he? Wait a minute. This was an HBO fight? Have I covered this? Has anybody seen this? So all the lefty variables go out the window. Both guys are dry. No, no sweat on it at all. So I guess they're going to loosen up here. So it's kind of cool inside this building. Hey, so far, I don't know. Dude looking kind of moral, John. Dude looking kind of sharp. Dude looking kind of sharp a little bit, even from what I'm looking at. Let's find some better quality footage. Let's see if we can... Let's find some better quality footage. Let's find some tape. Is this it? Let's find some footage. The hell? All right, gentlemen, we're ready to go to the rules. I want to remind you to keep it clean, protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. Okay, the retreat back to their corners. Where's the stop, guy? I forgot this daily motion Come shit on, take forever. He's just going for the head, Dave. He's got real accuracy and he is with a follow up right hand. All his punches are trying to, to, to touch him to the head. You see the action in the 122 pound division. These guys down here really let their hands go. You have high volume action in 122, and here is Akhmadaya continuing that thing. I'm wondering. Hold on, I was looking for something, my bad. This daily motion at low slow. And got more to the point of just trying to wear the guy down, chop him down like a big tree, and he did. Body punches did the work, right hands did the work, uppercuts did the work, and his, his defense is pretty good. He's not too scarred up. I think it like seeing out of him is uh, when things were going his way, but he wasn't knocking his man out. And he did, we did not see mistakes. No, and, and he listened to his corner. Here you go with that, the right, right through the guard. And a lot of his punches got through the guard. And he always had a follow-up right after through one day and he was going for the other. There's, there's one, he has him against the ropes, he's not firing back, and his flesh shots and his hands getting down the back door. That was too much. That's too much. All the time he's coming home like this. And this guy deserves some attention, does he not? This is the, um, um, you can't call, I, I don't like, you at this point, you can't call the co-main event because the card is good. So, this is the chief undercard, the, okay, you got Devin Haney versus the Zalir Abduliev. And you got, <coughs> Danny Roman, WBA and IBF 122 pound champion. Versus, we got to learn how to pronounce his first name. Morojan. Akhmadaliev. There we go. There we go. We got it. So, he deserves some attention.
What the hell happened? <clears throat> yeah, let me get away from this daily motion shit. Hmm. I think this is a better clip. Miss HBO. So it was on Bevo Pascal. Which may be why Joel Diaz was saying. Which may be why Joel Diaz was saying. Which may be why Joel Diaz. Yo. Let's go to his amateur background. Ha ha! What in the world is this new? Ha ha! No, man. I'm never clicking this shit again. I'm never clicking. Look, this is... So they put their amateur fights on here. That's crazy. How accurate is this, man? In the World Series. How accurate is this, man? In all, man, I, I'm not. No, we we keeping it pro. He's he's undefeated in the pros. All right, he's undefeated. Yeah, they they got to be putting the losses in the amateurs. Let's go see if there's any names we know in here. Let's go see if there's any names we know. Young, you know, Young Hung Han. I know Young Hung Han. He got uh, Rabisi Ramirez. He's fighting this weekend. I'm looking forward to talking to him. So we do know him. Mick Conlon. Back in 2015. He lost to. Yeah, they got the amateur records on this joint. Wow. But in the pros, he's undefeated. With five KOs, he got all those, you know, that those those amateur losses. You know? You know, with this new setup, I can't I try, I can't read the chat like I used to. That's why I'm glad I got the super chat. I'm reading the chat now. What the hell are y'all arguing about? Oh, y'all just arguing about... Yep, I see why I don't read the chat, man. You guys are degenerates, man. He dropped Mick Collin badly? He did. Let's go... Can we find that? Ooh. Well, well, motherfucking well. Shh, we're going to watch some of this. This is Mick Conlon who fought this past weekend on ESPN Plus. I covered that fight against Marujan. Akma Deliev, who was fighting Dana Ramon for the WBA and IBF 122 pound titles on the card of Devin Haney versus the year uh, uh, Liev, September the. All right, shh, shut the fuck up. Shh, shut up, y'all. Shh, shh. That ended in a technical knockout. Let's hope there's no dramas here. Conlon settles down. To business. Akhmadaliyev knows what he's going to do. He's going to put him under pressure. Give Conlon no rest, no break at all. Just took a right hook, and again, he's going to be careful of that, the Irishman. Good body shot there. 
I was just wondering why he was decided to stand and fight the fighter, but landed some great body shots. He needs to move his feet, though, because that's what he's good at and what we expected, and that's what he may be doing. The Uzbekistans may have expected one thing and he's doing another. Good finish from Conlon. Oh, he do drop him. Oh shit. We gotta do this more often. Is there a replay? Is there a replay? Oh shit. Let's slow that down. Let's slow that down. Go full screen. And go to high definition. He dropped the shit out of him. So, just off this research alone, that Danny Roman fight is going to be uh, interesting. Oh, shit. Look, put that shit out there. Oh. Damn. So we see he's got the power. Let's see. Let's go look at his height. Let's go compare the fighters. Five, five and a half. He's listed at 24 years old, residing in Indio, California. Is he a Golden Boy fighter? Nah. I mean, who is his promoter? Let's go look at Danny Roman. He's listed also at five, five, 27, two and one with um, 10 KOs. You know, as of lately, he's been in some exciting fights. Wait a minute. I covered that TJ, TJ Doheny fight. That fight wasn't that close, was it? It was only close like the first few rounds. That fight wasn't that close. Where's this 113-113 card come from? Right here. What's up with that? He's much more experienced, though. Let's go look at some clips of his last fight. Let's go look at some clips of his last fight. Which one was it? Um, hold on first. Oh, 
that's a quick left hand, Sergio. I mean, that, that, again, he goes for the uppercut or a sharp straight out of the left hand, but that that's a wicked shot. That's his power. Yeah, no, mine has to be careful because the hand. Oh, oh shit. My bad. I remember this fight, so why did they score so close? With the hook. Now you see the repertoire. It's uppercuts, it's hooks. You weren't seeing them earlier. Now you see it. Good hard shots by Donnie straight up the middle. And they're back up Roman. Now he says, bring it. Now he wants to fight. He rocks him with the left hand. And again. Well, for those who don't know, let me show you out a card real quick. So we can be all on the same page. Network, uh, where you at? Where you at? Mm. This is a well put together card. Well put together card. You got the New Yorkers, you got the Hispanics, you got the Russians with, um, 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 Sergey Kuzman, we're going to talk about that later on in the video. Sergey Kuzman and um, Abadulayev, and you got the New Yorkers. The Puerto Rican New Yorker, and you got the white girl. Heather Hardy. She Irish too, right? You know, this car got all the pieces. You know, um, future pound for pound, pound for pounder with um, um, Devin Haney. I already know it's going to sell out. It's going to be in the small room. What do they call the Hulu Theater? Not in uh, the big room in MSG. So, yeah. What do y'all think about Heather Hardy, though? I don't know, man, if she can... You know, Amanda Serrano is nice. Like, nice, nice, nice. Like, multi-talented, multi-division. Like, Nice. What weight is this fight going to take place at? Let me check this email real quick to make sure or to see. Because Amanda Serrano, her last boxing match was at what weight? What weight was that at? Wasn't it at 118? Was it one one fifteen? One fifteen. You know, there's been people like on fucking um on um. Do you think that women should be under strict VADA testing as well? People been trying to throw her name in that shit from how she been jumping up and down on weight divisions and shit. Like, look how big of a deal this is. Like, the jump from fucking 140 to 115. That's fucking crazy as shit, man. So, what weight is this? Oh, here we are. The female feather title. The fuck is that? The fuck? 126. Why I got to call it the feather title? The female feather title. Okay, so this is going to take place at 126. And then you got Katie Taylor up at uh, 135. All right, that's not, you know, too bad, you know. Fucking feather title. Mm. Yo, what's up? Grievous or G. Revis. What's up? I'm looking forward to it, especially I keep forgetting that um, Heather Hardy is undefeated in boxing. But, you know, she was getting better treatment, you know, I'm all the way over here. She was getting better treatment in, in according to interviews. Um, it over in um, Bellator. But, I don't know, I like her, man, but I don't think she's beating them, Amanda Serrano. Let's watch some highlights. This was her last fight against um, Shelly Vincent. 
I was at this fight. No, wait, was this her? Was her last fight against Shelly Vincent? I believe it was. I was at that fight in New York and could barely walk. Yeah. That's a tall ass order. Oh, my bad. Amanda just way more defined. Amanda's just way more, you know, like uh, technically sound, you know. I like Heather Hardy, but I don't know. I don't know. You know, she got a lot of heart, though. You know, especially like that, that, you know, here, let's go look at it. Let's go look. It was grotesque what happened to her over in, um, over in Bellator. Like, I was like, you know, that's a bad woman, though, man. It was grotesque. Viewer discretion is advised. The ladies go at it again. Boxing champion Brooklyn's own Heather He Hardy. I'm very safe where I'm at. Let me just inflict damage. And again, just full mouth. Hard. Getting hurt, so that's why the referee's not stopping the fight. Referee imploring Hardy to fight back. That arm bar is there. That was her thing, you know. Um, um, on like. Her stand up was 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 pretty damn good, but once she went to the ground, you know, and also she used to drop her hands a lot in mixed martial arts. That's some shit you can barely get away with in boxing, but yeah, she was getting yeah, I don't want to see that no more. That shit was depressing. I mean Serrano's been doing uh, mixed martial arts too, pro wrestling and all that. Yeah, she don't she wasn't I I don't know. I covered her um, Bellator fights, and I do feel that, yes, in my opinion, she wasn't using her strengths, but at the same time, I'm not in a motherfucking cage, so, you know, but I was, I used to be watching like, yo, like, you know, she had some good success outside of when she would try to throw kicks, you know, but Amanda Serrano, she's a different type of, you know, It's a different breed, man. It's a different breed. It's a different breed. Here, let me find... Uh... I was disappointed in Cindy, though. I covered this when she was over in... Um, on the Zone. Oh, karate.
Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for telling me. It's all good now. I was saying, I was saying that um, um, Katie Taylor looks like she might be fighting Delphine Pursuit in a rematch. And if that is true, then will the winner? Okay, well, where will that fight be? Will something's telling me that Katie Taylor versus Delphine Pursuit is going to be the co-feature to um, to uh, Ruiz versus Joshua too? Something's telling me they're going to do that. But if that doesn't happen, then is this winner, like, have they been told, hey, listen, you'll get um, uh, Katie Taylor. But the thing is, Heather Hardy is a 126-pounder. Katie Taylor undisputed at 135. Amanda has shown she can go as high as 147. Let's see, what's the highest she's been? Or four at 147, where she fought Carrie Hill in 2013 at 141. But the highest Heather Hardy has ever been has been 126, 127. I mean, 130 if you count that they both weighed in. Um, her and an opponent weighed in at you know over 126. So, weird situation. I got to go back and watch the um, the uh, Katie Taylor Delphine Pursuit fight. I remember watching it. I had just got home. I had to get home fast and shit because I had left the fight to get home to cover the fights. And from what I've seen, I got to go back. I, 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 I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember. Yeah, Katie Taylor always sound like she like gasping for air, don't she? I don't know what's up with that. You know? She always sound like she's gasping for like breath. So we got one more fight left to talk about on this card. Let me get these out of here. Get these out of here. This is my man Michael Hunter versus uh, Sergey Kuzman. Remember, Sergey Kuzman made David Price quit. I think David Price quit because he didn't want to get knocked out. And therefore, if he would have gotten knocked out, he wouldn't have got the David White fight. David Allen. David Allen fight. You know, therefore saving his career. But this right here could have been its own card. Maybe not, you know, well, a co-feature or something somewhere. You know, Michael Hunter at one point in time was in the writing to get AJ 17 and one with 12 KOs. He had a fight with Alexander Usyk on HBO about two years ago. When was it? About two years ago? Three years ago. Um, well, two years ago. Close to, you know, 2.2 years ago. Some shit like that. And he was doing very good against Usyk until Usyk opened up on him, you know, um, um, in the later rounds. Since then, the I go... Kaladais, I forgot how to pronounce his name. That win over Bacoli was an upset. Alexander Ustinov. He fought a guy by the name of Fabio. I covered that fight. And now Sergey Kuzman. I wonder what this fight means and will Eddie Hearn do some maneuvering to get this to be for some fucking WBO uh, vibranium title with some old shit. Fucking Gilberto Mendoza, president of the WBA. I like Sergey Kuzman now. Also, um, Sergey Kuzman, I'll show you, laid out Joe Joyce and the amateurs. So, even though the juggernaut, you know, is the juggernaut, he's been down. Yeah. Uh, uh, Watch it, watch it. Yeah. 
Going to lay his ass down. Lay down, bro. Ain't going to come with the same punch. You know, say what you want. You know, on the back foot or whatever, or off balance, he still got caught. Also, he's got some history with Hergovic, right? This is that World Series of Boxing, the guys' records we were looking at. Even to that. That in between boxing and the pros. In fact, let's go look at his shit. What's your shit, Sergey Kuzman? What's your shit? 24 and 7, not bad. He lost to Hergovic. Oh, shit. You. You know what I want to look at real quick while we're here, while we're doing this? Let's go look at some. Have y'all ever tried this on box rec, though? Looking at the guys. Oh, it's not on here. Damn. They don't have. Oh, oh, oh. All sports. Let's see what your shit is. Errol Spence, 26 and 0. What's your amateur shit? He ain't never lose, huh? Let me find out Al Heyman don't let his fighters information out on their amateur shit. Where you at, Lomachenko? Where you at, Lomachenko? Let me see yours. Oh, one on one and two. We already know Salido got him. Who else got you, Loma? Who else got you? That's impressive as fuck. Albert, uh, Albert, somewhere, somewhere this guy is, he's got a win over Lomachenko. Mr. 10, Mr. 10 and 6. With zero KOs. He beat Oscar Valdez back in uh, 2009. I've seen him fight somewhere. Nah, that's not the same one. Oh, can be. Felix Verdejo beat him back in 2012 before he turned pro. He got his he got his win back over Albert in 2013. He beat he knocked out Jose Ramirez. That's not that's that that's that other Jose Ramirez. I forgot about that bastard. That was his pro debut. All right, since we're about to go, I'll show it. Let's see. You know Floyd shit ain't on here. Floyd had that shit scrubbed. His shit ain't gonna be on here. Look, see, his shit ain't on here. This shit's got to be flawless. But listen, this is what we're going to do. Um, I had to do these test streams today to make sure everything was running smoothly. Um, still got to do some uh, working out the kinks. We're going to be here doing a lot more streams. Going to take the next couple of days off because I did, you know, um, enough news. I got to get out into the field to what was supposed to be the Carl Frampton fight. But, you know, he got injured. So now what I'm about to do is uh, edit this video up. You know, when take my ass to bed, probably play some video games. I'm T Street Controversy with FightView360.com. Please subscribe.